What's going on, y'all? Random thoughts here. And today we're going to go over uh, on call and on call rotation uh, and really just on call, like at a high level from a site reliability engineering perspective. Um, let's dive right into it. Okay, so first and foremost, there's a ton of great content out there for on-call and on-call rotation, post-mortems, all of these kinds of things. Uh, specifically, like PagerDuty puts out obviously tons of content for years. Uh, Ops Genie from Atlassian, they put out a nice paper on like blame post-mortems and just on-call rotation, all that. So absolutely worth checking out. And of course, many, many, many bloggers talk about it as well, just from their perspective. Um, and just from my SRE, small to medium sized organization perspective, uh, on call is what it is. It's on call. It's, you know, you get woken up th or paged throughout the day, just depending on, you know, what rotation style you're, you have uh, to basically drop what you're doing uh, and to resolve an issue. So I think from the top, uh, monitoring and, you know, I guess more specifically like observability and like alerting i think alerting should be tuned well uh extremely well because i've been in scenarios where uh, i get paged via alert and you know what it was doing it was it, the alert itself wasn't updated uh to is you know basically it was like a false alert it was a false alarm uh i would say m the most recent one that i had was uh, AWS Redis uh, was what kicked off an alert, and it looked it looked awful. You know, it was like all these number of connections, and uh, at the end of the day, it was like the alert just needed to be tuned uh, to you know to to a more realistic number is, is ultimately what it had to be. That's why you know there are AI ops and all of these these terms coming out because the idea it, the goal ultimately would be like to have alerts kind of like tuning themselves <laughs> uh, to to a certain degree. That'd be nice, really, really nice. Um, and not to really worry too much about, uh, you know, just constantly like manually going in there and kind of like tuning these alerts so that you're not woken up all the time. But aside from that, there is this other piece of uh, like on-call rotation. Um, and I'm just freestyling this, you know, I'm not, there's no like script to this I'm reading off of or anything like that. So this is just kind of all off, off of my head. But uh, on-call rotation from my perspective is, uh, you know, SRE generalist. So that's kind of what we're doing right now. So we're just, you know, we get this in inbound call. Uh, you know, ideally, there's a, ru uh, a run book in place for that run book, playbook, whatever you want to call it. There's some set of instructions in place associated with that alert. Um, there should be. Uh, otherwise, you're just you get this alert coming through and you ultimately you have no idea what it's, what's going on. Uh, and that's quite stressful, um, extremely stressful, in fact. And, you know, it's just one of those things where you want that in place because it's just going to make everyone's lives easier. The other thing that is interesting to, to smaller to medium sized companies is that, uh, you know, you could also have, uh, like feature developers, uh, engineering feature developers, whatever, you know, you, you, your organization calls them, uh, on call as well. Um, and this is more optional than anything. Uh, this would be something like, um, I don't know, like, you know, SRE generalist gets a call. So they get an alert. Uh, they're not incredibly familiar with that particular, uh, service, um, which is, I guess, problematic in itself. But, you know, given the team size that you have, sometimes you get a roll with it. Uh, and then, you know, they would be able to contact that service lead uh, that would be on call in, in a rotation. And by rotation, I mean, you know, like a couple times a week, at most, <laughs> somebody should somebody should be on call. Because I've, I've been in scenarios where it was quite literally like one person on call. And it's, you know, there's this empathetic aspect to it where you just don't you don't want that to happen to, to anyone really um, but then there's also you know if you want to think about it from like you know this other perspective of you know what what are they gonna get done like if they're if they're getting calls like three times a week or even just one time and they were woken up in the middle of the night uh you know and had to address some stressful problems this is always going to be stressful you know even during the day like if you get get an, an alert or on call you're gonna be in a stressful scenario where you know it's it's just you have to fix something quickly or figure it out so think about the next day or the rest of the day for that for that person where you know how like are they going to actually get what they need done uh what you know based on what they're originally working on so that's that's something to keep in mind as well um so there's like there's a lot to it uh as well so that's that's like on call just from my perspective 
Um, and then of course there's like the postmortem piece and it's always going to be blameless. Like I know there's, it's, this is talked about a lot and I, I don't even really need to speak to it because it, spe it really does. These kinds of things speak for itself. Um, but the idea is, you know, if something goes wrong and if it was, you know, whomever's fault, um, so be it. You know, you, the idea behind all of this is to build uh, an extremely good engineering culture where you're learning from your mistakes uh, and, and then with the goal of like, you know, these mistakes not occurring again, you know, because you, you're aware of them and you put in the resources to fix them. That's this kind of kind of the goal there as well. And if you're writing this postmortem, uh, ideally, you want to you want it to be blameless because you, you want honesty to come out and, and to shine through as well. Um, you know, if there's no honesty, then you won't know the problem and then it may occur again. And then, you know, it might go into this downward spiral of uh, catastrophe of some sort. Um, so, yeah, that's that's pretty much I can think of off the top of my head. Um, if there's anything else that you want to share, um, I, anything that I missed, like I said, I'm, com I'm not coming from an enterprise. Uh, but if you want to share something, just, just feel free to leave a comment. Let us know. Um, and that's about it. Take care.